everybody welcome back to my channel I wanted to show you the newest member of my dollhouse um, my sister Olenka gave me this as a Christmas Mother's Day birthday present combo now she had originally gotten it thinking that she'd be able to get into the hobby but um, she has arthritis she has lupus um, she also has what was it called um, RS something is where your hands get really bad and they start to actually like bend um, So she wasn't able to do it Now she and I used to do dollhouse miniature um, little things together until her health got worse um, She's younger than me and she's my brother's wife so um she was like, you know, you love dollhouse miniatures, and I know that you'll take really good care of it. And she decided to give it to me. Now, as you could tell, it does need some few repairs. It does need a front door and a few other little things, which I have no problem with. Um, the house is just amazing. I love this outdoor brick. Look at all the details on the window, the molding, even the top. I can actually put furniture up here on the top. And what you're seeing back there are the car seats. Back here are the Batman car seats that I still have to unbox. And once I do the unboxing for those, I'll share those with you. Uh, it, the house is just absolutely beautiful. And it's huge. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then I'm going to take you in the inside. Now I'm just trying to give you an overall view of what it looks like in the inside. And um, so it has three rooms up on the third level, as you can tell. And the fact that it's already pretty much done, I'm, I'm loving that fact that it's pretty much done. There's a second room. And it even has a little skylight. And then look at that one. Now we're going to go down to the second floor. Now here's the second floor. This is the second floor room. I'll put a little glue on there right there. So pretty. Then here's the next one and the doors are open. Close the door a little bit there. The twins were in here messing around as you can tell. We brought it in and they just got to it baby. And then see, there's supposed to be a pair of stairs there. It did not come with pair of stairs, but it has that opening. I might try to cover that up. And then um, I believe there's a closet underneath the here. And there is a closet underneath the stairs right there. And it's lined and everything in the wallpaper. Let's see if I can get you to have a better look. It's um, in there. I tell you, every little detail is just beautiful. And look at those steps. And here's the next room. And here's the next one. Now I'm going to take you to the next level. Now here's the bottom floor. Um, this does need a door here on the side, as you can tell over here. Um, it needs a little care and attention if i don't want to put a door right here i could just finish um, painting it white now here's the main entryway now this room definitely needs some work um i don't i don't like the flooring then my um, sister started doing this little tile job here i'm gonna have to try to pull that up and i know it's gonna cause some damage but it's got to come up and I'm going to change this flooring as you can tell it's seen better days. I have to find a door that'll fit the front. I have to see if I have one that might fit. Um, I love the fact that it has this beautiful detail here. Right here with the wood. I love that. And in this beautiful door, I love doors that have like the little inset here. The little inset. Love that. Let me go to the next room. Okay, here's the next room. Now this one has a lot of detail up here in the top, as you can tell on the ceiling. It has the chandelier. It has these little insets throughout the room, which are amazing. 
and I do need to hurry up and take this upstairs because I will admit that my some one of my twins have already ripped off some of the um, lighting and I have a little pile over here on the left on the table but this room is very pretty but she does need a little help like right here I do have wood flooring see it's coming up I do have some wood flooring um, that I might be able to extend and try to color match but this one's actually coming up do you see I'm sorry do you see how that's actually coming up I do have wood flooring but it's a lighter wood and I really would like to keep the integrity of the darker wood I think that looks beautiful then um, there's that side of the room and then uh, this is um, another place where I could put some outdoor furniture that's on the other half of the house now this is the last room and um, some of the wallpaper is coming off as you can see I don't this is like vintage wallpaper you guys I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to do about this because I have wallpaper and I don't have anything that looks similar to this at all I might have to just try to glue it down the best that I can and then maybe put um, like a painting or something here to cover up the spaces where it's coming off but this is another beautiful room that has all these lovely details look at the fireplace it's just beautiful and I love that um, little window. I could make a little seating area there if I really wanted to. It's just so pretty. I love all the beautiful details. And then there was a um, chandelier that I think my kids just ripped off. Honestly, they just they just ripped off two or three. This is the other room. I think they ripped off the ceiling one off of there as well. Now this has a little damage right there. Um, that's no big deal. This is this is a little older home. It's travel and has been places and as far as the um, the darkness around a window I'm probably going to make an oversized um, window treatment to cover that but all in all I am super excited about this house I can't wait to start finding all the pieces for it so I can fill her up and make her look like a home um, I'm really excited about this one and um, it was such a blessing to get this from her and then of course that's, that's the room I'm going to have to work on because uh, I need to pull those up and I'm hoping I don't cause too much damage while doing that so I hope you guys enjoyed um, I'm going to take her upstairs and the reason why I wanted to share her because is once I put her upstairs you're not going to get to see the front of her like the way that I showed on the video because it's going to be on the table. So you're not going to see the front. And I love the details and the fact that even underneath the steps, look, these are steps. It's it's actually done and everything. And there's even a chandelier in there. I just love all the details. Well, thank you so much for coming by to visit. And um, I will be showing you guys... Uh, Step by step, what I decide to do as far as um, decor, uh, fixing it, repairs, like here. Let me show you really quick, and then I'll let you guys go. Like right here, do you see how all this is nicely painted white? Over here, it's not. It's, it just needs like little touches here and there just to make it all look a little bit more cohesive. But this is the one room that I'm a little... I'm a little scared to pull, pull it up, but it's going to have to get pulled up. I'm not even too sure what she used to put the tile down, it's, but this is like not budging at all. I'm not too sure what she used, but this sucker is not moving. Um, I don't know if it was her or her daughter that put this down, but I'm sure it was Alinka because this looks like my sister. This looks totally Alinka. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I guess I will talk to y'all later. Let me get my foot out of the way. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that room. Let me see if I can give y'all a better look. I'm trying to give you guys a better look one last time. So this house has how many rooms? Let's count them together. That's four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this has 12 rooms. Hope you guys enjoyed.